All right, so the next thing we're looking at, we're gonna start looking at, we're gonna look at is probability. It says, probability is a measure of how likely it is for an event to occur. Probability is a measure of how likely it is for an event to occur. Guys, the probability of an event occurring is less than or equal to one and greater than or equal to zero. So the probability of an event is either less than or equal to one or greater than or equal to zero. In other words, the highest value of a probability is one and the lowest value of probability is zero. Guys, a probability of one means that the event is certain to occur. So um, the probability here is like the probability of death. You're definitely going to die. Once you're born, you're going to die. So the probability that one day you're going to die is one because it is a certainty. The probability, um, a probability of zero means that the event will never occur. Um, the probability of pigs growing wings and fly, the probability of that happening is zero. Pigs are never going to grow wings. They might fly, but they're not going to grow wings. Now, a probability of 0 0.5, which is um, 0 0.5 or a half or 50% means that the event is equally likely to occur or not to occur. So for example, if you flip a coin, there's a 50% chance that you'll get a head or you'll get a what, a tail. So getting a head or, or a tail are equally, um, two events are equally likely to occur. Guys, the sum of the probability of all events in a sample space is one. The sum of the probability of all events in a sample space is one. A sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of a random event. So if I flip a coin, there are only two possible outcomes. I could either get a head or I get a tail. The probability of getting a head is a half, the probability of getting a tail is a half. A half plus a half is one. So the probability of the two possible events of all possible outcomes of a random event, the sub probability of the, or the sum of the probability of all events in a sample space is one. All right. Um, it's like rolling a die. When you roll a die, there are six possible outcomes. Um, die, sorry, die is singular, dice would be plural. Jamaicans normally say dice when referring to one, but dice is actually the plural. When you roll a die, there are six possible outcomes. You could either get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. The probability of getting each of them is one over six. When you add up all six probabilities, you're going to get one. So the sum of the probability of all events in a sample space is one. And um, a, a sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of a random event. Guys, let's talk about calculating probability. Calculating probability, the probability of an event E occurring is given by the probability of E is equal to the number of times E occurred over the total number of possible, the, poss the total number of possible um, outcomes. That's how you get, that's how you calculate probability. So the probability of an event E occurring is the total number of times um, E actually occurred over the total number of times E could have possibly occurred or the total number of possible outcomes. All right, with that in mind, Let's have a look at um, example one. All right, example one says a fair die is thrown once. What is the probability um, of the score um, being a three? Well, there's only one three on the die. And there are a total of six numbers on the die. So the probability of getting a three 
from one through is one out of six. All right, so you can write your probability as a decimal, sorry, as a fraction. You can also write it as a decimal. So this is um, 0 0.17, or you could write it as a percentage. This is 17%. So there's a 70% chance of scoring a three. Now the probability of um, that the score is not equal to three. Well, there are, there are five numbers on the die which are not three. So this is five out of six or 0 0.8. Eight three or 83%. So there's an 83% chance that it is not that it is not a three. All right. So there are five die, there are five numbers in the die which is not three out of a total of six number. So there's an 83% chance that it is not three. Um, C says, what is the probability of the score being an even number? Well, there are a total of, um, there are a total of three even numbers on the die. So the probability of an even number is equal to three out of six or a half or 0 0.5 or 50%. So if you roll a die, there's a 50% chance that you're going to get an even number. Please note, any one of these answers is good enough. You don't have to write all of them like me. Any one is good enough. The only thing I would say, if you have three over six, just simply reduce it to a half. You could write your percentage, you could write your probability as a fraction, a decimal, or as a percentage.